Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This one's about all the resources I'm currently using to study for biochemistry. And out of the three subjects of first year, an ad physio and biochem, I think I'm the most sure about biochem and the resources I've decided upon currently. And uh, these resources are used by keeping in mind that I'm just done with first year and only these three subjects and I have no information or no knowledge whatsoever about the other subjects like pathology or microbiology so yeah so let's get into it so the first one the first resource I would say is Kaplan and uh, I think it's a very good place to start especially now that I have time and I don't have to immediately jump into the dedicated preparation. Kaplan is a very nice resource. Realized there are other things focused in Kaplan more. Like for example, in Satya Narayana that I have read, the mechanisms or the cycles and the steps and the enzymes, substrate, product, all of these are focused upon more. And then at the end, they just mention the applied part, you know, the name of the disease and probably a paragraph about it. But, but when I was reading Kaplan, I realized they do, they do talk about the normal mechanism, but they give equal importance to when things go wrong. So this is a typical example here that in Satya Narayana, Gosha disease and Fabry disease are just part of um, a table. I guess if I remember correctly but here you have the complete explanation as well as you get a clinical vignette to see if you to understand how it can be asked in the final exam apart from that they mention what topics are high yield and also this gives us uh, basically an insight to what we can expect when we're going to study pharma pharmacology and microbiology next year. And even these clinical co correlate points, I think, are something very new, something I did not read throughout the year. So that's why I really, really recommend this at this stage of uh, the prep. To understand the text better, watch the lectures. So after watching the lecture reading the book becomes 10 times easier and after going on like after researching online multiple people have told ki the dr turco videos are the best and even i'm watching them currently and they are really really good so that's it so this is for understanding for remembering I found another resource which, which are the Pixarize flashcards deck in the Anki app. So for an example of how the, what these decks are about, this is the question asking the difference between Hunter and Hurler syndrome. So the difference is there is no corneal flooding in Hunter syndrome. Patient suffering from Hunter syndrome has aggressive behavior. So these are the two points. But now when you see here, you realize that, that there's no corneal clouding here and this guy is using a gun, so he's probably very aggressive. So initially I thought this was really stupid, but when I was getting the same cards again and again, the only way I could remember the answer was by, by imagining this guy holding a gun. So I think these also are really, really helpful might work for you might not but i'll recommend just try them out last but not the least first aid obviously everybody knows you have to read the first aid and these pixelized decks are also based on first aid for example here if you see in hunter uh, syndrome we'll see that uh, it's written mild hurler aggressive behavior no corneal clouding and the exact three sentences are here in the in the question Hunter syndrome presents a more mild form and then here we see the two points about corneal clouding and ag aggressive behavior so uh, these decks basically are 
picturized uh, form of the first aid so i think they're really cool and that's all for this video i hope you learned something new or found something new and i'll see you guys in the next one bye